What's up everybody welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for clicking on our video today we are always happy and so excited to have you guys here so if you're watching today's video and you're not yet subscribed kindly consider subscribing to the channel which is totally free you can also get to hit the notification bell so that each time you upload a new video you're going to be notified do not forget to like this video because that helps grow our channel and also leave me a comment in the comment section let me know which gown on this video is your favorite and why so that you're able to know the kind of the uh, gowns that you guys want to see more on our channel So today's video is a continuation of our previous video where we were talking about some of the wedding drink ideas that you haven't thought of and uh, we, we were sharing with you a few on our previous video we shared with you the beer flights we shared with you the smoked cocktails we also shared with you the big batch cocktail so today we're gonna start off with the spiked lemonade and on a hot day there's nothing more refreshing like a glass of lemonade while homemade versions are delicious on their own you can also kick uh, the drink up a notch by offering spiked versions made with either vodka or gin on your wedding day You can also do the hard cider and hard cider has become extremely popular in recent years and the beverage sweet mild flavor profile makes it an appealing option for guests. What's more, this easy drinking bubbly beverage can stand in as an affordable swap for sparkling wine or champagne during toasts. You 
You can also try the boozy slushies and slushies are a fun drink option for warm weather weddings. Work with your caterer or bartender to dream up creative iterations made with rose, uh, rosé, champagne, beer, vodka, gin or another favorite alcohol. And festive decorations like edible flowers or gold leaf make them even more enticing for guests. And we also have the affogato and creative drink options uh, shouldn't stop and end with alcohol during dessert. We love the idea of bringing a gelato card and an espresso bar. Your guests will love combining the two to create a custom affogato. We also do have the sake and sake is made by fermenting rice and the drink holds significant meaning in Japanese culture. One couple incorporated uh, the tradition of Kagami Biraki into their reception and the couple's families broke a barrel of sake for guests to enjoy together to symbolize the start of something new. And lastly, we do have the mini wine bottle. So instead of stocking your bar exclusively with standard wine bottles, try individually sized bottles instead. They are fun for guests to find at their tables, but you can also use them as escort cards or have them pass, uh, passed out by servers during the cocktail hours. So guys, that marks the end of our video today. We'll be able to continue with more interesting drinks for your wedding. I hope that you found this video useful. I hope that you found this video inspiring in one way or another. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really love you guys so much and we really do appreciate you. And do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to like. Do not forget to share and also hit that bell icon and see you on the next one.